this is only a test. As you can tell how I am improperly attired. What I want to do is to test YouTube on this computer with stickham.com Uh, live chat, live video chat. On where's the camera? Camera, I think, is going to be there. Does not want to connect. That's not good. Oh, we don't want that. That's at stickham.com. That's their homepage. Frank and Jim. Hey, that's scary. We don't need to. Oh, it was for the music. We are rocking. Stickham, uh, while I'm waiting to get live. Uh, on my page, I've been doing this for uh, a little over three years now, and uh, we've had over two million uh, page views in those three plus years. I started to do here we go loading the host data. It's not, the camera is not working. Camera's on. Okay, if I remember correctly. Every time I come here, I have to shut down and start again. That's not a good thing. Let me start. The, uh, the objective is uh, we want to do a live stream video chat here while we are recording a YouTube here, and we can take a Skype conversation on this computer. I've done it before. I've been following me. You know, I used to do a lot of them that way. So we can combine uh, the three technologies and make a, uh, make a YouTube uh, video. We're going to do that on Sunday. Sunday at uh, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll do, it, we'll do that for four hours. And we have a whole host of things to talk about. Between now and then, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Facebook launches. Well, today they announced the launching of their marketing developer program, and as I was reading the information about it, uh, I said, geez, uh, we need to uh, announce our marketing developer program, which we are going to do in a live YouTube video. Oh, uh, here's one. Here's D1. For the last uh, little over two years, actually, the, this particular journey started two years ago. Uh, 
when uh, Curtis, who is now the chief technology officer of David Barter Community, sitting right there, said uh, that what I was trying to do with five websites and tie them all together with a portable portal website, it was not going to work and achieve my business objectives based upon what he was seeing. So I said, okay, what do I need to do? And he said, blow it up, start all over again, and we'll start building something that will achieve the objectives that you want to, uh, that you want to achieve. And I said, okay, let's go. Well, we uh, just completed phase one of, uh, of our commitment to the Startup America Partnership. A commitment that we made on January 31st, 2011, when we heard a, a watch, we actually watched on this screen, we broadcast it live. You can go back to an old uh, stickhand.com broadcast. We used to store them at OurSmallBusinessTV.com. OurSmallBusinessTV.com. I don't know if they're still there or not. We made our commitment, uh, it was a Monday afternoon. And uh, it was about 11.30, we heard, uh, we heard what the story was about the Startup America Partnership, a partnership between the U.S. government, who was represented uh, by the White House that day, that's you and I, our tax dollars, uh, in partnership with private uh, business, represented by the Kauffman Foundation, Deep Foundation of Entrepreneurship uh, in Kansas City and the Steve Case Foundation from Washington. They provided uh, the seed money uh, for the private business uh, side. And that afternoon, uh, I sent uh, either like voicemails or emails, I can't remember. Uh, to the Kaufman Foundation, to the Steve Case Foundation. So I started searching for a fellow by the name of Scott Case, not related to Steve, who actually runs the partnership. And um, I even got on a couple White House mailing lists that day based upon my participation. And I responded to one of those mailings that uh, our David's Barter community is committed. Uh, committed to the, the, the partnership uh, with uh, the commitment being one of social marketing. Uh, in my 40 years of experience in social marketing, uh, with Curtis's now 13 years of Googleizing websites, uh, we have created a very interesting result in really less than 100 days, about 100 days ago, I think, less than 100 days ago, I first started doing YouTube. And based upon all the different things that we're doing, the social marketing uh, with the social network technology, if you Google David's Barter uh, or uh, Small Biz David, if you want, Google them both, at last count, there were 10 consecutive pages of information based upon things that we were doing here. With us getting all the listings, uh, and it's, it's, it's amazing. And then 48 hours later when I did it again, there were some new, uh, new, new rankings within our uh, own list. Small Biz David or, or, or David's Bar, uh, they, were, they picked up some YouTubes and uh, some other things, some other social marketing things went above some. Yeah, it's, it's just been real interesting to follow uh, how all of that is, is changing and the, the amazing thing being uh, as many pages uh, as we have. We, we, we just have to figure out how to improve the pages, so the, pages the search results that, uh, that Google has uh, rewarded us with. We don't over-optimize, and that's 
a big debate going on right now as Google changed uh, some of the penalizing uh, over optimization. And I say right on to that, they should have done it a long time ago because uh, they were giving recognition to bad marketing uh, and bad social marketing. Uh, when they allowed uh, so many uh, over optimized landing pages. On Sunday, we're also going to talk about, I think I mentioned Facebook as a marketing developer program. They just announced we're going to announce ours. Uh, I'm going to share with you, and we might even do, I'm going to send a, um, I just, I, today I registered for a, well, I registered for the National Small Business Week 2012 video contest. And, uh, something got my attention and I signed up for it today uh, and I sent a, um, an email to uh, my friend Bonnie Deer at the SBA office here in Cincinnati. Uh, she has been a wonderful supporter of the community for Somewhere between three and four years, Bonnie and I have been, uh, been doing some really interesting things together. She's in the SBA office in Cincinnati, and uh, she was even uh, one of my original folks. We did weekly Skypes on, <laughs> over here. Uh, my, uh, actually, the first ones that we were doing, she was doing from her home uh, on her day off. She, Develop some nice little like, signage behind her, and we were doing these uh, these uh, video chats live. Then put on a, on a uh, recorded and put on a media player at OurSmallBusinessTV.com. So I'm going to I'm going to enter this uh, video contest. We do a I guess the rule say three minute. It'd be hard for me to do a three minute YouTube, uh, but we'll keep it to matters of SBA only. I told Bonnie I was going to, to thank her for all her great support uh, in, in that. And that's one thing that SBA has done uh, for our community. And uh, we're also going to do the forum. I say the best for last. Well, let me do one other thing. Uh, we're going to take a look at something, a story that caught my eye in um, Fortune magazine. Uh, once a month, I like to go to a neighborhood bookstore and just stand in front and see what small business, business uh, publications, uh, stories, titles uh, grab my eye. And, and the ones I grabbed yesterday, uh, the greatest uh, fortune magazines, the 12 greatest entrepreneurs of our time. I actually read that article already. It is a really a fascinating. I want to share uh, that list. And, and my thoughts about certain aspects of that list. That'll happen on Sunday. Uh, another magazine that caught my eye, and as I do often, is the Bloomberg Business Week. How to, the how to issue, and they have all these different topics of how to do different things. So I went around the game board to see which one uh, uh, were of interest to me. And the one that really caught my interest was how to ask a tough question. And uh, if you follow me, you know I like to ask tough questions. There's 749 of them. And there's about uh, 300 more uh, on this page in the community. Our community bulletin board, once you register for the community, once you log back in, the first place that you uh, enter uh, is the community board, board where we update our uh, videos, the responses to the questions, and add keywords. And we've got probably 250 more keywords. Keywords uh, are how people, well, it's how we build traffic to come to davidbarter.com, the front door, if you will. That's our job to get them to the front door, and um, we completed phase one, as I said, with uh, 
more than 10 pages of, of Google search rankings. We're trying to figure out what to do next there. Now, on Sunday, we're going to announce and hopefully begin play. I said hopefully. Begin play on David's Barter Community Fun Game. The game for today's uh, entrepreneurs. All of the things that we have uh, been doing um, have started to evolve and build this uh, community fun game. In the 40 years uh, that we've been involved in starting businesses, helping other people start their businesses, I have never found it to be more fun than it is right now. And unfortunately, well, it, it took me a long time to, to find it, but uh, fortunately I, I, I was able to find it. And it is fun, and we want to share that fun with you. Uh, and uh, you created a social marketing, social network technology uh, landing page. And it's working for us at, at about 10 different ways right now. And I say ask me different things that I'm doing. And we just want to share that model uh, with you and share with you what's working for us, why we think it's working, what isn't working, what changes we need to make. And you can just follow what we're doing and take what you have, your value proposition, uh, so that you can market it and communicate it in the same way that we're doing ours. Uh, and if you've got something of value, uh, you'll be able to build your new business and at the same time create job number one uh, for yourself. And we've made it so people, uh, they really can't lose uh, because we've given everybody the opportunity if they don't want to jump in there right away with a, uh, a cyber lease commitment, they can try the concept out for uh, 50 days complimentary and, and we'll help you it's so easy to set up uh, what it is that you're doing and we'll show you how to do it and uh, we'll do a YouTube about how to do it and you'll be able to uh, see test if some idea that you have uh, has an opportunity to generate cash flow for you very high margin cash flow because you're dealing with a YouTube presence and a landing page. Not a lot of stuff in between, so there's very high potential for uh, margins there. We'll share that uh, information with you for very, it's not brain surgery. This is our commitment, and uh, we will have 10,000 uh, new new small business startups just like that in the next 100 days based upon the forecast and things that are happening in, in response. Uh, 10,000 of those uh, pages, people trying it out. We're targeting, we're going to have a contest for those people then who want to continue uh, and, and uh, be able to have a, a more fun with what we're calling the 2012 community cash flow or uh, cash flow earn bonus or earn cash flow bonus 2012 uh, because um, $49 of every first month's lease uh, will be put into this uh, fund into this earned uh, cash flow bonus at the end of 2012. And so we only have uh, uh, just about nine months. No, we have less than nine months. We only have eight months. Whichever landing page, uh, and there's going to be seven of them, uh, generates the most cash flow we'll share in this bonus happens in the uh, next hundred days, theoretically, uh, there will be $490,000 in that fund. And, uh, 
ten thousand landing pages. How much fun would that be? Uh, the, the groups of students of entrepreneurship, uh, ages um, sixth grade through the eighth grade, uh, ninth grade through twelfth grade, college, university. Those are all three groups of entrepreneurs that uh, we have done a lot of things with in the last. Uh, Almost, well, five years for sure, almost six years. Uh, and, and each one of those will become, each one of those groups will be eligible for a part of their, their, their fair proportionate part of the, um, the uh, earned cash flow bonus. Baby boomers, those folks born, born between 1960, 1946. In 1964, uh, there's 73 million of them uh, in the United States right now. Uh, I am a proud member, and uh, I don't know too many baby boomers who are not scratching their heads uh, trying to figure out uh, what next steps might be. Uh, lots of challenges with being an older baby boomer, and that's okay. That's okay, uh, but we know that our, our fun game uh, will work very well with baby boomers who have 30 to 40 years of experience because that's what they are. They're baby boomers and have that much experience. Not only will they be successful in their own community branding pages, uh, they will help other folks because that's part of a baby boomers' challenges too is to mentor, is to give back precisely the message that, uh, that, we, that we share about small business collaboration uh, in David's barter community. It's about small business collaboration. That's the new small business model uh, that we're seeing evolve uh, right now. We're seeing it. Uh, where folks help each other as they're starting out. They help each other and in helping each other, another entity uh, is, is, is happening. That's what small business collaboration is all about. It might come in the form of barter. Barter is a great thing. Barter has rules and regulations, and we always tell folks, go to irs.gov, search for barter, and you'll get all the information you possibly need. There's guidelines. Uh, we highly recommend you follow those guidelines. I'm actually going to have to report, I think, a, a barter deal here. I hope soon. Uh, I went to uh, a chiropractor. I was having some challenges. Never been to one before. And uh, went for two treatments. And even before the second treatment, I had been doing some things that was showing improvement. And so by the time the second treatment, which was just three days after the first one, uh, the chiropractor, she was very, uh, very interested that just a couple of days earlier, I had a lot of pain and three days later, I didn't have the same pain. I wasn't going, ah, don't do that. Anyway, I told her that uh, I think I've got my hands around my problem, my challenge. Uh, there's a lot of things I need to do. And if I need some further chiropractic treatment, would you be interested in bartering that? for uh, my knowledge of YouTube and how we're doing it and how we're using it. Another application that we're doing right now that I'll talk about on Sunday. I am publishing my second book. Uh, you all saw the first one. Uh, the second book is uh, going to be done. It is being done, not going to be done. It's YouTube, and so now we have 180 different YouTubes, different questions, different keywords. Uh, and uh, then we have put almost all of those uh, onto a landing page in the community. Uh, so we are going back and forth. Uh, we are very precise how we tell Google Plus what we did. And uh, all of that responded, has responded in all the uh, 
10 pages and counting of, uh, of uh, search results of David Barger or Small Biz David. I'll uh, share with you uh, an email that I sent uh, to a friend of mine, Nick Nanton. Uh, Nick, um, his company has done some really interesting things and in, uh, in, in helping us position ourselves. That's what his company is all about, is branding and positioning. And if you look at some of our search results, uh, it's absolutely things that uh, his organization did uh, to improve the quality of our search. So uh, I, I sent an email to Nick uh, and Angie uh, telling them what I thought, uh, well, what our next steps were, and, and I'm going to share that email. But it's about it's about our game. It's about David's Barter Community Community Fun Game. Uh, it is. It is uh, the game for today's entrepreneurs it is simplified not simple simplified uh, to start a new small business never a simple thing we understand the social marketing we understand the social network technology you bring your value proposition uh, to your landing page and we create a YouTube it's working for me to publish my book my second book uh, and uh, in doing so, I'm giving my chapter of my first book away, just giving it away, personalized, uh, with, uh, with whatever they want me to put in it. Uh, they challenge me with what they would like inside their cover, and uh, I can hopefully give them the same kind of, uh, of, uh, of thrill that I got as I... Uh, was in a book project uh, with Brian Tracy. I think you can tell who's who. Actually, uh, you might not recognize me. Um, that was 20 plus pounds ago, actually. Yes. That picture was taken on that wall in the living room. I have a friend, actually, and since he took that picture, he passed away. Um, thank goodness I had a chance to thank him for uh, his, his great work. But uh, I had an opportunity to, uh, to meet with Brian Tracy, uh, and uh, because of my involvement in the book and his getting an award, the um, Lifetime Achievement Award from the uh, National Academy of Best Selling Authors, and I was getting a uh, Quilly Award uh, with those 50 other people. Um, The Quilly Award with that light shining and uh, 50 other people. And uh, part of it uh, was uh, I had an opportunity to, to meet Brian Tracy. I actually presented him with something that I made for him, thanking him. Uh, there's a picture of it. And as I was telling him what I wanted to do with our community, uh, and he, he's my mentor, my, my life and business mentor, uh, has had more impact on my thinking. Uh, than uh, any other individual. With my son Jordan being a close second, <laughs> I don't think he minds being a close second to uh, Brian Tracy. But Brian said to me uh, after we had that interchange, and I explained to him what our community was and what we were doing, and how I would hope that he might get involved in the community. Uh, he, he said, "You can do it. There are no limits." And it's it's thrilling to, uh, to have uh, have your mentor uh, tell you that. And uh, he also, I, I had another experience with him there. He had done a 90-minute presentation uh, with the other 50 Philly winners. And at the end of it, I went up to him. And I said, I was surprised, I can call him Brian then. I was surprised, Brian, I just said Mr. Tracy, <laughs> that uh, uh, I think you missed two things 
uh, in your presentation. And he said, well, what is that? And I said, well, well you, you talked about when you write a book, and Brian has written over 55 uh, best-selling books. He said he will not write a book unless he thinks, he knows, not thinks, he knows that one million people will read it. And that's when he knows that he has a good book, when he will publish it and say one million people will read it. And his track record is way better than one million people per book. I said, you forgot to mention that. You didn't mention that fact about the one million people when you were talking about why publish a book and you kind of smile. And he said, well, well what else was it that, uh, that I didn't cover? And uh, I said, one of the things that you, you I was, it was on a, 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 an audio that I listened to yours. Actually, I had listened to it for about the 50th time, not too terribly long before October of last year. And, uh, He said, you know that you really, really have something going and you will succeed in whatever it is that you do. But when you can look into a mirror and say, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself. And it was always really uh, very, very impactful to my thinking. And he just uh, looked at me and he said, uh, uh, you really are a student, aren't you? And what a great, <laughs> that was an A plus I got from my mentor. Why did we get onto that? Oh, uh, an email, and then uh, uh, Nick uh, was responsible. Nick was the publisher of this book. And, uh, Asso uh, got me involved in it, and I thank Nick then, and I thank Nick now. But I'll share with you the uh, uh, an email I sent to Nick uh, about where we uh, are going to, where we are today, and where we're going to be tomorrow. The game for today's entrepreneurship, David's part of community fun game. See you on Sunday at. Uh, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, stickham.com forward slash, I don't know, either David Leopold or Small Biz David, but it is stickham.com. Typically when we're online, uh, we are on the homepage and you'll see us and you can click on there or go to stickham.com forward slash. It's supposed to say Small Biz David. I don't know if that does yet, but it does say David Leopold. Okay. Uh, we will see you then.